So it has been long debated as to where to get the best tacos here in Playa del Carmen. When we were doing our research, there were two main places that came up, El Fogón and El Nero. So in this video, we're going to be visiting both places to helpfully to hopefully, to hopefully help you guys make a better decision as to where to go and get tacos when you're here in Playa del Carmen. It's now one o'clock and we are in the Fifth Avenue. We're gonna walk towards to El Fogón and we're gonna show you how it is. Mm -hmm. The Fifth Avenue here in Playa del Carmen is basically the main tourist area of Playa del Carmen. I believe it is five miles worth of, yes, five yes. miles? Five miles. It's five miles worth of uh, restaurants and shops and souvenir stores, bathing suit stores. Uh, so yeah, that's where we are right now. I think it's about a 10 minute walk till we get to El Fogón, so we'll see you there. It is believed that the taco was first created before the arrival of the Spaniards into Mexico City in the early 1500s. Indigenous people who live in the Valley of Mexico, today known as Mexico City, were eating tacos filled with fish. Tacos are traditional Mexican meal and are an iconic part of the Mexican street food. Fogon doesn't only serve tacos, they've actually got an extensive menu, but for the purpose of this video, we are specifically looking for the best tacos in Playa del Carmen, so between Giovanni and I, that's all we're going to be ordering today, but it's just important to keep in mind, they do do other stuff, they've got quesadillas, they've got nachos, they've tortas, got tortas, they've and got like full, dishes. full dishes, so the, the menu is very big. Also, this place can offer a variety of beers, Fresh water, which you got now, is uh, watermelon and pineapple, and also they have cocktails. But in this in this case, we just decided to head for uh, agua fresca, which is a mix of fresh juice blended with ice. Cilón pastor. ¿Y puedes hacer un solo de queso? Giovanni thinks that I'm a granny, but there's something about Mexican restaurants, all Mexican restaurants that I've noticed that I just really can't wrap my head around, is it doesn't matter if it's a breakfast restaurant, if you're there at 7 a.m., the music has always turned up to the loudest volume it can be, like every restaurant that you're in. We are very festive and very happy. That's yeah. why we want the music to be very loud. Even at 7 o'clock in the morning. So although we ordered six tacos at one time, they've just given us one so far. I think they give them to you as they're ready. And um, first sign that this is a good taco is the fact that it comes with two, a double tortilla. Um, that's typical of like a really good um, tortilla, a really good taco. <laughs> so we've got chorizo over here, which is like uh, pretty much like ground pork. Um, gonna give it a try. It looks very fatty, very delicious. That one, gets, that one gets a 10 out of 10 for flavor for sure. It's very fatty, very flavorful. A little bit more tomato and onion. I got two types of tacos. One is sirloin, which is a, a cut of beef. And also coming from the trompo what we call that all the all the meat stuck and rolling uh, into the fire salsa verde and salsa roja pastor is a specialty which is roasted pork but cook it very like in a low temperature low and slow huh? low and slow low and slow <laughs> And obviously, like we have this thing, we put in tacos. A pastor taco has to come with pineapple. I'm not such a fan of it, but I think it's a little bit of flavor. And obviously, onion and cilantro. A it's, must. It's a must. We actually came here looking to see if they have any vegetarian slash vegan options, which they don't. So what we've actually done, I'm not vegetarian. I just like to limit my meat intake. Um, we ordered these just with cheese and the meat on the side. So that was the only option in terms of vegetarian. To be honest, if you are looking specifically for vegan or vegetarian options, I definitely wouldn't recommend coming here because they actually don't have any real options other than this very sad, plain looking tortilla. Our tacos and we're gonna do a little review on them. 
What is your favorite supper, Joanne? Uh, always pastor. I pastor. think it's always pastor. Mm. Yeah. yeah, so we had the sirloin, we had the chorizo, and we had the pastor. And for me as well, the pastor was hands down the best. If, Just, you, if you come here, pastor, for sure. Yeah, I think it's the, the preparation or, or, or the paste that they used to marinate the meat and then the charge from the, from the fire. I think it's what it gives you the flavor. Yeah, it's super flavorful, yeah. super tender. Definitely, if you come to Fogon, pastor, 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 taco is uh, the best. And if you like pastor and you like this video, please don't forget to give us a big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel if you want to see more content like this here in Playa del Carmen and all of Mexico as well. Aha, por favor. <laughs> Restaurant in like such a touristy part of Playa del Carmen, it's kind of surprising to me that the uh, menus are in Spanish only. I mean, it is a Spanish speaking country, so I completely understand. Um, but it's just important to keep in mind that the, the servers also don't necessarily speak English, so I mean, you've always got Google to translate. And just keep in mind that the menu is also represented in Mexican peso, which I mean, obviously the exchange rate fluctuates, but a good way to think of the conversion is it's usually 20 pesos to one dollar. So just a quick reference to be able to convert the prices. Another important thing, this restaurant doesn't deliver food, but there's another branch, one of the six branch. Mm -hmm. There's a Facebook page where you can find number and which Fogon delivered. Yeah. Right, uh, so you can pay here in Mexican pesos, you can pay with dollars, dollars is why I said particularly here in Playa del Carmen. And you can pay in car. Visa and MasterCard are accepted, but American Express is a car that rarely these places will will take for their own reasons. Stick around until the very end because we're going to be sharing a comprehensive look at Fogon and El Nero and we're going to be announcing our overall winner. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now we are at our next taco spot, El Nero. Um, and to be honest, I'm expecting there to be more of like a local clientele here just because it is a quite a bit of a walk away from the Fifth Avenue in comparison to El Fogon. So we're about to head in there to have some more tacos. Giovanni is very, very hungry, hungry, very I'm hungry. hungry. I'm ready for it. Yeah, so am I to be honest. So we'll see you inside. I'm ready for the tacos. We just got into El Nero and my very first impression is that it is like way less like fancy and touristy than um, El Fogon, which is not a bad thing at all. I definitely prefer less touristy spots to begin with. Um, and remember how we showed you the menu in El Fogon, how it was massive and there was way more than just tacos available? This over here is pretty much the menu, which is really great because they're just really focused on... Or as well. Yeah. They're just really focused on tacos. So we're going to see what we're going to order and we'll show you that when we get it. El Nero only have two branches here in Playa del Carmen. One is located here in the very close to the 5th Avenue and the other one will be more in like within the city. But this place doesn't need reservation. You can just walk in. Si, algún viste? Something that a lot of my friends who have never been to Mexico before has have asked me like, Simone, how do you eat such spicy food? Because they just automatically assume that Mexican food is spicy and that's actually not the case. Uh, when you order tacos, they're not spicy. They just come, typically, a, a, like a, a typical taco will just come with the meat, cilantro and onion and then you will always have these little additional sauces given to you and this is where the spice comes from so you are in control of how spicy your taco is so we just got our tacos uh, I've got bistec, pastor and chorizo almost the same as what I got um, in El Fogon but just on first glance because we've had proper tacos before in Mexico City where they originate um, they also come with the, the double tortilla these are definitely yellow corn tortillas and just on first glance they look like a better quality tortilla I'm gonna go with chorizo first mm. very tasty maybe I'm gonna have to add a sauce to that it needs a little bit of something, but it's not bad at all. It's crucial. I 
Okay, did you even try it? I didn't even try it. I don't care. I mean, I I believe in my strength, the Mexican strength to handle the chili. Yeah. But let's see. Mmm. Mmm. Tortilla is really nice. So, seems like it was just on the grill. The meat is soft, tender. The cilantro, the coriander and onion. Doesn't go wrong with this taco. Taco has to have raw onion and cilantro. That's how you know it's a joke. That's how you know it's authentic. That's the way that you know it's authentic. Okay. Putting a little bit on there. And besides the spice, it is very spicy. I'm not gonna lie. Like very spicy. Look at the tortilla. I definitely prefer this tortilla to the tortilla we had at Fogon. Just is like more authentic. Like it's, I don't know. It tastes more more natural if I can say that. So in Anfogon, like we said, that there was um, no vegan or vegetarian option unless you just ordered a plain uh, tortilla with cheese on top. El Nero has no cheese at all. So you, like in terms of vegan vegetarian options, you've got no options here whatsoever. They don't sell any alcoholic beverage and also they don't allow any alcoholic beverage to bring into the premises. So. If you are thinking to have some drinks here, like alcoholic beverage while you're eating your tacos, it's not a thing here. I think it's safe to say that Nero specializes in tacos because like I said, their menu is tiny. They literally only have 10 different types of tacos, nothing else. So if you are coming to Nero, know that you're coming specifically for tacos. There's no nachos, there's no quesadillas, there's nothing like that. Something important about the Nero here is they only accept cash and it will be Mexican pesos or US dollars. The time has finally come to decide our overall winner between El Fogon and El Nero. We're going to be using the trusty sombrero method, so whoever receives the most sombreros by the end of this is going to be our crowning champion. The more sombreros. Sombrero. <laughs> <laughs> the very first criteria we're gonna discuss about is the location. Both of these places are very close to the 5th Avenue and I would say El Fogón is more like in the main touristy area and Nero will be located in the like where the locals will live. Yeah. Like, but in this case because it's what we prefer the most to be more in the local side, the sombrero goes to El Nero. Next up is the ambience. So like Giovanni said, Fogon is in the heart of the tourist area. So it is very busy, very vibey, very loud. You've got people coming and going nonstop. They also serve alcohol, so it does make it a little bit more vibey. Whereas El Nero is a lot more quiet. People are coming in and out. They don't play loud music. They don't serve alcohol. It's way more local. So it's a lot more chilled. And in our personal opinion, we are grannies and grandpas so we always prefer the quieter softer places so we are going to give the sombrero to El Nero. Okay food quality um both of these restaurants we really like the tacos mm -hmm. but we need to have a winner in this um, criteria. Nero has really good tasty tacos I like the tortilla they have it's like this like yellowish corn tortilla but the meat Adel Fogon was amazing. We prefer the pastor tacos and the pastor meat. Adel Fogon was superb. It we really like it. Yeah. So the sombrero goes to El Fogon. Next on our criteria list is service, which is very important for Giovanni and I. Uh, we're just going to be straight up and say Fogon was shocking. Um, the, the staff were not friendly at all. Our server was very short, very unattentive. He was actually very rude. Uh, so they get a 0 out of 10 for us in terms of service. Whereas El Nero was completely different. All of the staff were very friendly, very welcoming. Our server was very attentive, very helpful, just very pleasant all around. So Nero, without a doubt, gets the sombrero for service. Last criteria in our ranking is the price. We basically pay similar amounts for both restaurants. At El Fogón we pay 168 for six tacos. At Del Niero we pay 167 for 10 tacos. We basically got more at Del Niero for the same price. Uh, we assume this is because Del Niero has more catered to the local clientele, so the prices expect to be low. And whereas at El Fogón is more catered to the tourists, so people pay in US dollars, obviously the prices are higher. 
for us the winner in this criteria is El Niero the sombrero goes to El Niero because of the prices and you get more now it's time to announce our overall winner which in case you haven't realized yet obviously goes to El Niero of course this is all based on personal opinion but personally we just prefer the the quieter less touristy spots and that is essentially why for us Nero is the overall winner but if you are here in Fidelcom and looking for tacos we would definitely recommend visiting both places as both of them have some really great things to offer specifically the pastor tacos at Fogon and the local vibe at El Nero yeah that's all for today guys if you enjoyed today's video please don't forget to give us a big thumbs up and if you want to see more Mexican content like this don't forget to subscribe to our channel and activate the notification bell we will see you in the next episode. Hasta, Hasta luego. Putting a little bit on there. I think that may be a little bit too much. Yeah, I should have gone with the green sauce.